It's an incredibly exciting day for our athletic department. Uh, as we get started, uh, I first want to thank our board of trustees, uh, President Clements, uh, for their support throughout the uh, initiation of our softball program and for, uh, during this uh, sub, uh, search process as well. I also want to thank Natalie Honan, Joe Simon, and Kyle Young for incredible work uh, during this search. Since we announced uh, the addition of our softball program this past spring, we've been targeting our first pitch in the uh, 1920 academic year. We knew there would be a lot to get ready, and we've been working on that uh, each and every day. The first piece, obviously, might be a place to play, a stadium. Uh, we received phase one approval uh, from our board of trustees in October, and just yesterday, uh, another step in the approval process, the Commission on Higher Education gave phase one approval. So we're working that through and we're on uh, schedule. There's some uh, feasibility study mock-ups of what the uh, stadium might look like. Uh, so we're excited about that process moving forward. The second big piece, and, and maybe the most important, uh, was to begin the search for a head coach. And when we did that this fall, we didn't exactly know what the market would look like. We thought it was a good job. You know, we're a power five school in a talent rich area, uh, but you really didn't know until we went out into the marketplace uh, to understand how important or how attractive uh, this job might be. But I could tell you without question, this was an incredibly deep candidate pool. Uh, more so than just about any coaching search that I've done since I've been here at Clemson. The interest from Power Five head coaches and top assistants was remarkable. Throughout this entire process, however, one name kept popping up each time we've had, we had conversations with leaders in the industry of softball. Former coaches, players, administrators, influential softball voices all said, if you have a chance to get John Rittman, your search is done. And so we began to really uh, focus in on that. We, we're good at taking positive directions. And when we finally had a chance to meet John uh, and his wife, Lori, who's with him today, it's clear why everyone uh, was saying those things. Top, top shelf individual. Coach Rittman spent 18 seasons as the head coach at Stanford University and eight seasons on the United States national coaching staff. During his time at Stanford, they recorded 18 consecutive winning seasons, made 16 straight NCAA appearances, posted 13 40 win seasons, and produced at least one All-American in 15 of his last 17 years. Rittman's teams posted 750 wins. He coached the National Player of the Year, 16 All-Americans, five Super Regional appearances, two Women's College World Series appearances, and his team was ranked each and every week in the NFCA Top 25 poll for more than a decade. Prior to his time at Stanford, Rittman spent four seasons as an assistant coach at the University of Washington, where he helped launch the program and in just four seasons, the Huskies earned a number one national ranking. No pressure, John. Yeah. No. <laughs> Won the 1996 Pac-10 uh, championship, made three NCAA tournament appearances, and notched a runner-up finish in the College World Series. So building this program and starting it from the beginning won't be a new experience for John. But as impressive as his resume is, uh, and those accomplishments certainly are impressive, what stands out about Coach Rittman is his vision for the program. His desire to build a culture that fits within the Clemson community, his enthusiasm for teaching the game, and developing student athletes on and off the field. Many of you know a few years ago, our women's volleyball coach, Jolene Hoover, had an outstanding uh, daughter, uh, Carly Hoover, who was one of the best softball players in the entire state and in the region. Well, the gentleman to my right uh, attracted Carly Hoover to, uh, to Stanford. So he does have a little bit of a Clemson connection there. Uh, please join me now in welcoming Coach John Rittman and his wife Lori to the Clemson family. Thank you. 
Good morning, everyone. Um, thanks for showing up. It uh, means a lot to, to Lori and I to see the support of, of this softball program and really the first day. Um, I'd like to start by thanking God for blessing uh, my family and I with this wonderful opportunity. I want to thank President Clements, Chief of Staff Max Allen, and our Director of Athletics, Dan Radakovich, for giving me this opportunity to literally build this program from the ground up. I want to thank my wife, Lori, who's here, obviously, and, and our two sons, Justin and Jake, for all their support. You know, it's, it's not easy being a coach, as most of you know that are coaches in this room, and you spend a lot of time away from your family. With this move, we're going to let our, old, our youngest son graduate from high school in Lawrence, Kansas, where we're, we're coming from. And so we're going to be away a little bit. So we're already planning and plotting how that's going to work out. Um, but I am thrilled for this opportunity. I also want to thank the University of Kansas, um, Dr. Zanger, Coach Smith, Abby, Maggie, and Chaley, and uh, the KU softball team for the wonderful memories that I will always cherish. And finally, I want to thank our senior staff for guiding me through this process. Um, Natalie Honan, Joe Simon, Graham Neff, Kyle Young, Stephanie Ellison, Elliot Charles, and um, our faculty athletic rep, Janie Hodge. They were so helpful and answered so many questions, and I'm, I'm going to still utilize them in the coming weeks as we prepare to start hosting recruits. So thank you again. Now, how are we going to build this program? It starts with recruiting. We're going to recruit locally, regionally, and nationally the best student athletes to one of the best public institutions, institutions in the country. Um, this is a beautiful and vibrant community, obviously a passionate fan base, and I think it's going to be an easy sell, as Dan mentioned. Um, tons of coaches were interested in this position, so I feel very humbled um, to be the first head coach. Um, by starting Softball Clemson, we're also giving the next generation of softball players the opportunity to dream about not only attending Clemson, but also playing softball at Clemson, and that's huge. Um, we're going to sell the opportunity to be a part of something new. To be a part um, of Clemson softball means being a pioneer. Everybody will remember in the history of time. Um, we're then going to build our fan foundation like Dan had mentioned. We're going to build it by setting high standards and values in the classroom, on the field, and in the community. This will hopefully shape our culture from years to come. And finally, as leader of the Clemson softball, my main objective is to influence, inspire, and impact our student athletes and staff with a purpose and a passion every day I set foot on the Clemson campus. It all starts tomorrow. I hit the recruiting trail to find our first class. Um, it's going to be an exciting time for me to wear the, the Clemson gear, the Clemson paw. Um, and, I, and I can't tell you enough um, how much I'm appreciative of this opportunity um, to lead this program moving forward. Um, Again, thank you all for coming. I know um, I'll be around if anybody needs to ask questions. Um, so thank you again, and um, look forward to um, a long tenure here at Clemson. Thank you. Great. We'll open it up to questions for either Dan or Coach Redman right now, and then we'll have time for one-on-ones afterwards as well. All right, Coach. Uh, Obviously, uh, being at Kansas, used to being in charge of your own program, when you first heard Clemson was starting, did that tickle something in your brain? And then did you reach out to Dan, or did Dan reach out to you first? Yeah, so um, there was a firm that, that uh, Clemson used, and, and that person reached out to me, Chad Chatless, and um, kind of filled me in on it and, and said, hey, you need to apply for this position. And within two hours, my application was in. So... Um, you know, when I became an associate head coach at Kansas, I knew that the next job that, that I applied for, it would have to be a special job. And obviously this is a, I mean, I've been here twice and we've already 
fell in love with the place. I mean, the opportunity to build something new, you look at the pictures of the stadium, you know, the newness of everything is just attractive. And, uh, you know, so it, it was an easy, easy sell for me from Chad. He, he was, you know, saying, hey, do you want to do this? And I was like, are you kidding? This is an opportunity of lifetime. I'm all over it. When you're building your first recruiting class and uh, knowing that there's obviously challenges with bringing in junior college players, but do you try and build it with all freshmen or, or build through junior college? How do you build that first team? Yeah, so it's, it's going to be interesting. You know, recruiting is obviously the landscape has changed over the years. You know, when Dan mentioned the University of Washington, kids were actually, you know, committing in their senior year of high school. So it was a lot easier. Um, Today, kids are committing in, in their freshman year. So um, this week's going to be an interesting week. Like I said, I'm going out tomorrow to hit the trail. I think there's some kids that now that Clemson has started softball are going to maybe take a second look, which hopefully happens. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that transfer these days for a number of reasons. So we'll, we'll look at that avenue. Um, but the JC is a route that helps kind of even out the scholarships. So in four years, we're on more of a normal cycle. This state has a kind of tradition of having very good high school softball. Is that your intent to maybe hit the local region hard from the get-go? Oh, no question. Um, I think it, it behooves us to recruit locally. I mean, it's, it's obviously kids that are, that are local have grown up with Clemson. Um, most of them dream about attending Clemson. Um, so that's an easy sell. Now, it's finding the, the athletes that can compete in the ACC and compete for championships. Um, but we are definitely going to turn over every rock, looking for that talent. Any other questions? Thank you, Coach. Thank